So it's between Christmas and New Year, and obviously, because we like to be at the hospital a lot, Mum and I are on another hospital adventure. Say hello, Mum. Hello, it's snowing as well. <laughs> it's started snowing, sleeting or something. Um, so very festively, we're spending today, uh, well, spending this morning at the hospital having EMG tests, which apparently they put a little, um, little electric current through your muscle to kind of see whether it responds in the way that it should do. And sometimes this involves little fine needles, so... Uh, Hopefully it won't hurt too much, but um, we won't get the results today, but it will kind of test for all the kind of horrible, baddie diseases that are around, you know, things like motor neuron and stuff like that, but it also, Mum says, tests for other stuff, tests um, sort of um, whether your muscle is trapped anywhere, whether there's nerves trapped, whether anything's not functioning as it should do, so hopefully this will give us some results. So I had the tests earlier, um, they were hilarious, <laughs> they basically just like attached um, these kind of sensors like almost like an ECG sort of um, test when you have your heart tested um, onto my skin in various points and then they passed a current through it so it actually stopped my tremor which was bizarre it actually made my tremor stop temporarily while they were doing it but they put it sort of up my arm and um, you know saw the response and like measured the response and things and then they did it in my neck and it was like I had a nervous twitch I was like all sort of twitchy and then they put these really fine needles in to various sort of points in my neck and my arm and tested to see what happened. And the very last one, Mum said she was watching, and the very last one they put sort of in the back of the back side bit of my neck. And she said like the spikes weren't as big, so it, she could tell that it wasn't responding as it should be sort of thing. So the woman who was doing it wasn't just a technician, she was actually a... a just a technician, that sounds really mean, technicians are awesome. It wasn't, <laughs> wasn't a technician that wasn't able to say, um, you know, the diagnosis or anything. So they basically told me I don't have a muscular disease, so I don't have motor neuron, I don't have myesthesia gravis, I don't have anything like that, which is great news. Yay! I feel kind of mean for people that have that, because I'm doing a little dance, but... Yeah, it's been weighing on my mind, even though they said that it was a really slim chance, it's really good to have that finally cleared, ticked off, it's not a nasty extra disease, Parkinson's is enough, thank you, I'll take just the Parkinson's. Um, then, basically they said that they don't think it's just a drop neck, which is good because if it had been just a drop neck, then there's every chance that they wouldn't have been able to treat it. So she said it's... Um, something long-winded but it has my myopathy myopathy or something in it which basically apparently means something to do with a muscle failing so one of the muscles or a group of muscles in my neck has basically stopped doing what it's supposed to be doing she said it's difficult to treat but she did not say that it was impossible to treat so that to me is a positive and um, there was one of the options of what it could be that was actually completely untreatable which i think was the drop neck um and that would have been really difficult to do anything about. There's a fusing operation they can do, but it sounds pretty nasty. So um, I now will be going back to my consultant for Parkinson's, who is looking at giving me the apomorphine pump instead of the injections so that I can potentially go down a little bit on my Neutpro patches because actually Neutpro, which is reticotine, um, which is a form of Parkinson's medication, which I stick on my skin in the morning, can actually in think of three cases or something in the world ever. But that's, you know, it's not a lot of people taking the patches. Um, it's caused this problem and actually reducing it has helped. So they're going to try that, but actually give me the apomorphine pump, which will infuse apomorphine into my body throughout the day regularly, rather than the injection, which is just kind of quick and temporary. Um, Hopefully that might help a little bit. They can also look at whether I have an infection or an inflammation in that muscle. So I think they're planning on doing a biopsy. Um, and that will then potentially be cured by steroids. So there's a couple of options. Um, and then if we get to the point that none of those things work, we then start asking the internet. We look at what they're doing in other countries. We on the black market <laughs> so to speak we basically try to find all the witch doctory things that can potentially fix this but at least mum and I have been saying for a long time um you know we don't know which direction we're fighting in and dad's dad's the same it's almost like we just we don't know what direction to fight in tell us 
what to punch and we'll punch it. Um, but it's been very much we've not known what to do or like how to deal with it. So this feels like a positive. It's them not saying again and again and again, it's not this, it's not this, it's not this. It's actually them saying it's not this, it's not this, but it could be this and it might be this and it's definitely likely to be this which is progress, definite progress. So feeling very positive today um, that something can be done about this and that actually something can help solve it. It got like this, it can unget like this. I've been saying that for a while. And um, the fact my other muscles are good and strong is a real bonus. And the fact that I don't have motor neuron is a massive bonus. So thank you everyone for all your kind of messages and for your support and, um, and everything. It's was a tough morning because I was really frightened that it was going to come back as something nasty but um yeah good news nice extra Christmas gift but I hope you all had lovely Christmases and um yeah what a great gift <laughs>